Freeman to jump over that bench and bust him up. First up right now at 6, a heartbroken family very angry tonight facing an alleged killer in court. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Erin Connolly. Police believe Monisha Collins was a victim of domestic violence. Her boyfriend has been charged with her murder. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon has more on the devastating details. The Collins family is crushed, hearts shattered, keeling over in pain and agony. <laughs> The wailing is heartbreaking. Family holding each other tight outside court. Them God, we know that justice shall be served, God. Justice for their beloved Monisha, a pregnant mother, just 27, killed. They should not feed him. They should let him suffer. That anger is all towards Monisha's boyfriend, accused killer Vincent Blair, in an orange prison jumpsuit today, facing a judge and Monisha's family for the first time. The facts of this case, Judge, are horrific. Monisha was shot at least five times in her bedroom on December 1st. Shockingly, her 10-year-old daughter, Michaela, found her dead. And she had to see it. She was the first one to see it. Monisha was dating Blair for six months and was six weeks pregnant with his child. Her family says she was ready to cut things off a few weeks ago. My sister said that he talked aggressively to her and she didn't like it. The 46-year-old Blair allegedly took off after the shooting. Police tracked him down in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, where he confessed to the murder, according to officers. Monisha's family just buried her yesterday. If they had the death penalty here, I would shoot for it. I have to live with the, like, knowing that a monster took my sister away from me and my family and her daughter, and our life is forever changed by that. Blair's been charged with murder. A judge set his bond at $5 million tonight. His attorney implied in court that he won't be able to pay it. We also know Blair's been convicted of 10 crimes dating all the way back to 1994. If you or someone you know is a domestic violence victim, help is available. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is on your screen. In New Britain, Dylan Fear in Channel 3, Eyewitness News.